the American Sniper hot water extraction machine for carpet and upholstery clean. 500 psi pump in it. It's got an inline uh, heater that uh, runs continuously. Well, it's got it switched on, of course. Uh, it's got an adjustable pressure, so you can do carpet cleaning at three to 400 psi and then wind it down to about 100 foot doing upholstery cleaning. It's an American made machine, it's got 45 litre clean water tank, so you put the clean water in this side, the dirty water collects back in this side, and uh, we simply connect up the hoses onto there. We've got the pump switch, the heater switch, and of course the vacuum switches, and there's our pressure gauge there. Because you've got the built-in heater, it'll have two power cords on the back here. So we've got two power cords that plug in here. There's one. There's the other. While we're here, this is the dump valve. So when the job's all finished and we want to empty the dirty water, we simply pull up that dump valve, put a bucket underneath it, and that'll catch all the dirty water there. It's turning back around again. Now it's a hot water extraction machine, so we need the, the tools to go with it. Here's the wand. Hot water pressure. Pressurized hot water goes down through there into the spray jets. That goes down into the carpet, mixes with the soil and the detergent that's already there, and it picks it up in that vacuum slot there. So when it's working, High pressure water down into there, sprays down into the carpet, the water does a U-turn in the carpet, bringing up with it all of the dirty water and detergents up through the vacuum line. And of course, we need a vacuum hose to connect it to the machine, so connect that up, always connect that up before you start any machine. Connect your hot water line, and that end's ready to go. Now, don't put it down on the floor like that, you find it can break these fittings off here. So always turn that upside down like that. And then we're going to plug in the high pressure line there. Vacuum slips on there. And of course we start the machine one, two and three. Before we go too much further, you've got these fan inlets there. These are to keep the motor cool. On the back of the machine is also the exhaust for the vacuum motors but don't block up those two inlets there, that helps keep the motors cool. Quite powerful vacuum motors in this thing, and uh, yeah, you've got to keep them cool. And uh, we're ready to go, so we switch them on. When we finish, we disconnect all the hoses again. That one seems a little bit tight, and that's because we've still got a little bit of pressure in the line there, so we've just got to get rid of that pressure, and that'll then unplug. Now, in here, these little safety valves, in case this happens to overfill a little bit, the little ball in there will float up the top and block the vacuum motors off so you don't get water down into the, uh, the motor there. It just simply clips onto there and down and that's there so you can get to those little filters, clean those out if you need to and just wash the inside of the tank out if you ever need to. And uh, one other feature it's got, it's got stubby holders. That's a bit surprising. Now, it's actually for your spotter bottles. You can put two spotter bottles there with your machine and a little gum getter uh, tool for scratching away at the, uh, the chewing gum and that sort of thing. A couple of little tools will fit neatly into there. And uh, other than that, uh, it's time to pack up. You go to empty that. Yeah, just make sure you've got a bucket underneath there. Disconnect your two hoses too, or your two power cords. Put your bucket underneath there, dump that into there, 
and you're ready to go.